and registrars. I know that you've already had some a talk this morning, you know, lots of photographs and talking about um, some of the things that we deal with. Um, I've got a few people who are coming in to see you this morning just to talk through a little bit about their experience and, and hopefully that will be quite useful for you so that you can actually um, understand what it is that people go through with these different conditions. So the first um, gentleman we have with us today is David. Um, so David, do you want to come up here? Hiya. Can we give him a clap? <laughs> so, David, what I was hoping is that this morning you could just tell the students a little bit about um, what, what it was you first started to notice. Well, I uh, first noticed in about April that um, I was really sensitive to sunlight. Like, literally, I couldn't go out without sunglasses on. And then a few weeks after that, I noticed when I woke up in the morning, I used to get severe double vision, so things would be about this far apart, and that lasts for about five to ten minutes. And then over time, it was like I couldn't read number plates, and but now I've str I struggle seeing people I know across the street, things like that. But uh, yeah, and just, you know, so I started sleeping while I was open, I get really sore eyes, and it just used to wake up in the morning feeling like um, almost like I had grit in your eyes, you mean, like really, really sore. And apart from the eye problems, did you notice anything else? Um, I've always been quite anxious, but I noticed I was getting a bit more very short tempered. You're just irritable. Yeah. Still, I'm now. <laughs> and obviously, very, very, very shaky. Do you want to hold your hands up there? So, um, obviously, yeah. a bit worse today because of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you notice that you were sweating more? Uh, sweating, yeah, very sensitive to heat. Yeah. yeah. So, what would happen if you were in a hot room? Oh, just, yeah, just, just sick and wicked up and literally put a duvet's wet. Really? <laughs> <It's nice. laughs> Were you losing weight around this time? Um, yeah, I lost a few pounds, but I didn't really feel much of it at the time. My eating pounds have always been a bit erratic anyway. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and so you went and had some blood tests done. Yeah. And what is, was it that the GP told you at that time? Um, it told me my, my thyroid level, which I didn't even know what thyroid was at the time. It was meant to be a kind of range. It's meant to be sort of below 100. Mine was over 1,000, which is oh. obviously a bit overactive. Very, can I say? Very, <laughs> very, very <laughs> yeah. So uh, I referred me to a specialist and they said, oh, they gave me an appointment for this was in July, they gave me an appointment for September, yeah. which obviously was too long to wait. So I went back yeah. and he spoke to a specialist, which happened to live just down the road from him, and he yeah. put me on carbamazole mm -hmm. uh, straight away. And that was for about three weeks. Yeah. And then I got referred back to a kind of underactive thyroid. Yeah. <laughs> so now it was a thyroid scene you put me on. Yeah. Yeah. And How quickly did things change and you, you, your thyroid became underactive? It was uh, about like three or four weeks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, I'm quite susceptible to carbon. <coughs> yeah. Did you notice any change yourself in how I it sort felt? I've become more aware of it now. Yeah. I can sort of exact time I didn't really know, but now I sort of note myself getting more. Irritable. Yeah. <laughs> very short tempered for nothing. Okay. Yeah, you could go from being happy to yeah. fuming mad for nothing. You know I mean? really? <laughs> it's like being schiz schiz schizophrenic sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> have your brain saying, Oh, it's, yeah. what are you angry about? You ever have going, ah, yeah. just smash up the house. <laughs> <laughs> but not today. Not today. Yeah. <laughs> um, and when you find it was really underactive, did you feel your body slowing down? Did you notice that yeah, things were maybe more difficult to do? Yeah, it was almost sort of like. It's quite strange. You sort of feel like you want to do stuff, but you just really can't be bothered. You know what I mean? So it's all, it's all torn in between two people in a way. So yeah. You lose yourself to do, but you just can't be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> and how have things been going since you started the treatment? Yeah, and again, my eyes are a lot better. I mean, they're yeah. more, like, as in soreness, they're not, you know, not quite yeah. acceptable to like still a straight focus is okay, but. Yeah. Looking left or right is <laughs> a no go. Yeah. And crossing roads and things like that can be quite interesting. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And have you had any treatment specifically for your eyes? Um, yes, yeah, so they put me on steroids, mm -hmm. which is uh, a six month course, I think, because it's quite a, starts a high dose. <coughs> but that can cause brain problems, so I'm on a lot of other tablets to counteract. Yeah. <laughs> but we look at the side effects, and a lot of side effects are exactly the same as the <laughs> Fibroid problems, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, yeah, just a lot of medication to take. Yeah. But they're all about uh, I'm starting uh, radiotherapy on the 7th of December. But the radioactive iodine? I don't actually do radiotherapy first, I think. Oh, for your eyes? Yeah, for my eyes, yes. Yeah, attack the orbits in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Have they spoken to you about what that would involve? 
Uh, yes, it's a, a ten-day course, primarily low-level radiation, <coughs> which you know, side effects shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, yeah. but he said I might use a bit of hair. Yeah. Great. <laughs> have they got like a, a mask for you to wear? I think so. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I have an MRI scan as well. That was a. Yeah. I was quite looking forward to it until I actually did it. Yeah. I never thought I was cross favourite before. I thought. Yeah. It's very tight. Well, it's because you don't move. You know what I mean? It's like that isolation. Yeah. It's quite scary, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it freaked me out a bit. So. Have they had to make you your own mask, or have they got one that they could? They, have, they haven't given me. I just had a standard one last time. Okay. So just so you guys know, so with the radiotherapy, it's really important that they get the the same point each time, so that they know that they're delivering all of that radiation dose to the area that needs it. So they need to make sure that they've done a lot of planning beforehand, and that's where they use the MRI, so they can see the structures and see the muscles that they're going to be targeting. And then they have a particular mask or some headgear that you wear, so that when you lie on the radiotherapy table, they know that your head is in exactly the same position each time that you go for treatment, and they know that that radiation dose is being delivered where it needs to go. So it's... Now we know. And so, with your eyes at the moment, what kind of things do you notice now? Um, mainly if I try to look left, right, or up and down, okay. I guess uh, major double vision, that's the yeah. quite annoying. Okay. Um, <coughs> cold, sorry. No, I'm just wondering, do you mind if we show the students your eyes a little bit? Yeah. Yeah? Okay then. <laughs> so if we can just turn your chair that way a little bit. That's perfect. So, so all of you, and I know that some at the back might be a little bit more difficult to see, um, but if you have a look at these <coughs> eyes here, actually from the front, they're looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, they yeah. yeah. um, So we know that there's a little bit of swelling just around the top and around the sides of the eyes there. Can you see that? Okay. Now when the thyroid is overactive, then the sympathetic activation of that makes your eyelids open really wide. So, um, go on, give me a good stare there, lovely. <laughs> so at that, when, when the thyroid's overactive, if you can see all the way around the eyes, then that's a really good sign of that. But at the moment, because we can't see the upper part of, of the, the white of, of the upper part of the um, eye. Sometimes the steroids are working, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You don't want to be like Kermit the Frog.